Hey Plant Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle, my spooky jungle. Got some Halloween stuff going on over here. Um, and if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. I appreciate you for still being here. And I have a very exciting video for you today. I have a huge box. I have to get it. <laughs> Oof, and it's heavy too. Um, but it is from the plant farm. So if you guys have been here, look at this thing. <laughs> this is a big box. There's quite a few Hoya in here. So the plant farm actually had um, a Hoya sale going for the month of August. So it's September now. I apologize that I didn't do this sooner. Um, I didn't know about the sale sooner or else I would have definitely let you guys know if you're in like if you're on Instagram um, and we chat if you come in the live the live streams and stuff then you already um, you did know I told you <laughs> but um, I do apologize for that I will try and, and do it sooner in the month next time they have a sale like that so that you guys can jump on it but I'm actually really surprised these are here. Today is Saturday. You're not going to see this probably until like tomorrow or next week. Um, but I ordered these just a few days ago, you guys. And like literally like right before August was over, I was like, oh shoot, got to order my Hoya right before they're not on sale anymore. And um, they got here really fast. I wasn't anticipating that they were going to get here today. So here we are. Um, let's open up the box. I'm gonna shut up. I've ordered from them before. It's been like, I haven't ordered from them since like last year. Probably I got a bunch of hanging baskets from them, but uh, my Hoya Fungi hanging basket is from them. Also the window's open, so I apologize if you can hear. I forgot to close it. A bunch of stuff going on out there. Um, read me first. If your plant is damaged beyond what is expected under normal shipping conditions, please message us with a photo of your plant on the same day that it arrives. Um, I usually am unboxing it on camera so <laughs> people can see. Um, but I will leave their website linked down below for you guys. Definitely shop their website. I know they're on Etsy, but shop their website. Um, it's going to be cheaper. Etsy raises, Etsy has a fee, a 10% fee. Um, so sellers tend to raise their prices 10% on Etsy to make up for the fee. So I definitely recommend checking out their website over their um etsy page so unless i have like a sale on etsy that's not on the website obviously but i would always check so this came from washington oh my gosh do you see how many hanging baskets are in here i'm gonna put this on the floor because i genuinely don't know how else to go about this but last year i ordered a bunch of hanging plants from them and they came in like literal perfect condition it looks like they just kind of place everything in here and then fill it in with the biodegradable i've never had an issue with any of the plants that i've ordered from them shipping wise so i don't know where to start <laughs> i gotta take some of these peanuts out because i don't want to just like should I just like pull it out? Maybe I'll start with these smaller ones. Let's start with the smaller ones. This is what the packaging is looking like. Um, they've got a little stake in here, I guess, to help pro to keep like the structure of the plant. And we've got a little rubber band around here instead of tape, which is actually a solid idea. Um, I just gotta make sure my cat doesn't get to any of these rubber bands. Okay. There's no floof, they do just have packing peanuts. Where do they glue it down? I'm just like very fascinated by this. It looks like they glue it instead of using tape. All right. I'm trying to let the peanuts fall into the box. I vaguely remember what I ordered. I know what the hanging baskets are. Um, but I know I did get a couple of smaller ones as well. They are grower's choice, so I don't know exactly what they're going to look like. Um, but this one does look really nice. The pot got a little bit squished. 
And we lost a little baby leaf. But that's okay. That's part of the shipping um, process. So this is Hoya McGregorii. I'll show you the tag and then I will show you the pant. Pant. Plant. <laughs> Hoya McGregorii. Um, I don't know anything about this one. I just, let me get this out of here too. Um, I'll definitely be reusing this. Um, but I saw it and I saw the leaves and I thought they were really cute. Um, so they look pretty big and thick. It's hard to tell, but they have this really subtle veining in them. And I just thought it was really cute. I'm definitely going to clean this up. Um, you guys already know I use my Urban Gardener Leaf Radiance Spray. I'll leave it linked down below for you guys to check it out. Um, it's going to make these look literally like brand new but they do have this really cute like subtle veining that you can kind of see through the back of the leaf i'm able to see it more because the light is coming um and it's shining through so when the light shines through you can see that veining a little bit more but i don't i just wanted it so i bought it um and i don't know if the prices are on here let me see so i could tell you how much i paid for it Hoya McGregory 4 inch Oh, that's right. I forgot I got all these. There's a lot of Hoya in here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven different plants in this box. Um, the prices aren't on here though, so I do apologize for that, but you can go and check out the website if you're interested. This is a four inch, a four incher. Okay. Let's go for another one of these smaller ones here. I just don't want to damage them by pulling them out all aggressive like <laughs> yet another smaller one we'll have to do the hanging baskets last where did that rubber band go okay I can't lose it I'm always so excited and so nervous at the same time for these you guys I'm not gonna lie I'm always like excited about the plant but never know what to expect all right okay 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 oh it's so little oh my goodness but the new leaf looks like it made it okay is that a fungus gnat you gotta be kidding me get out of here sir i murdered it it's fine they're house plants it happens okay so i think this is the hoya one that i can't say yeah, bal balen balensis. Oh my gosh, it's wrapping around here. It's got this new growth point, and I'm definitely not mad about that. But let me get some of this out so you can actually see some of the leaves. Because the leaves can get pretty big on this. It does have like a very like latifolia vibe to it. Oh, I thought that was another fungus gnat for a second. I was about to be like... I'm going to repot everything into my mix anyway. Um, but there are some like hard water stains on it, so it's kind of hard to tell. But it did uh, manage to keep this little leaf, even though it's a little beat up. But there are leaf nubbies, and this is actively growing. So that's not a bad thing. I will definitely get this one um, attached to something in hopes that it will not die back. Because sometimes they just don't like being shipped, the newer tendrils. But Hoya... Balensis. Can you see it? So I don't have to type it out on the screen for you. Hoya Balensis. Really, really cute. Um, and it can get splashy. This one's just not like kind of like the green splash that'll happen. Um, and it's a really pretty plant as it grows. So I'm excited to watch it grow. It's kind of hard to show you. But it does get like little green splashes. Um, I have to clean them up and repot them. We can do that in a video together for sure. And then you guys can see them in their like full glory. <laughs> so what's next? Ooh, I see one of the hanging baskets. <laughs> All right, let's do this one next because we got that one. That one. There should be another little baby one in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. 
Oh my gosh, that is a dang very dangerous way to attempt to package a Hoya. But miraculously, it's fine. It definitely needs like a little bit of fluke. But this is a Hoya Lacanosa mint. And I didn't know if it was different than my Moonlight and my other silvery Lacanosa, so I wanted to find out. I looked it up on the internet and people were saying, yes, there are subtle differences. So naturally I wanted to find out for myself. Um, and this one was not pricey. It did lose a bunch of leaves that are rotted at the bottom here. Oh no. I hope the whole thing's not rotted. That would be a bummer. I think it might just be those bottom leaves there got damaged. Because the rest of this feels okay, but I'm definitely going to need to go in there and check. I just don't want to do it right now. Um, I see some healthy roots, so that should be should be okay. So this is one, it's very hard to show you because it's little. Hoya Lacanosa Mint is what they're calling this one. It does look very similar to the um, Lacanosa Moonlight that I have, or like the Louisa Silver, but I wanted it for myself and hopefully it makes it because some of these leaves look really sad. Um, but they, they do look really similar. So I'm not sure. Ugh, I don't think that one's gonna make it. I gotta get in there and see what's happening because a lot of this is rotted out right here. You can see these leaves here got rotted at the base. This one underneath it is just stuck to it because it's so moist and dead. Um, and I don't know if that's gonna continue to happen, unfortunately. So, that's a bit of a bummer, but it's a teeny tiny little baby, so I don't know. It just doesn't look very good. Okay, anyway, let's try uh, this one. Which I actually like reach in here and grab the pot because they're all kind of like just shoved in there. All right, so then this one's gonna have to be, ooh, another one that I just like, thought was cute and wanted to see it in person. Another four inch plant. Packaging isn't bad. I just really would prefer some polyfill. Um, instead of all of the peanuts. They didn't even bother with that one. They just shoved it in there. All right. Ooh, this one looks big. Oh, this is cute. This one I really like a lot. Oh, wow. Hoya Trubiana. Trubiana. The last time I unboxed all of these, I didn't even film it. Just opened up the box. But I thought the leaves on this one were really cool. They're just like really long and kind of wonky. Some of them have been cut. I guess they had like damage. But they're just really long and weird. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to need to snag that and see what it's like for myself. There's definitely like some cosmetic damage on some of these. But otherwise, the plant itself looks really healthy. Um don't see any signs of rot on this one although the soil looks really nasty if you can see how nasty the soil looks um so I definitely will be repotting these I just like to wait like a week or two to repot new plants just because they've been in a box they're they're going from one environment to another so they're going from a greenhouse to my home um which is already stressful but then they're also in a box in the dark for like a few days which is also stressful. So I don't wanna put them through another stressful thing right away by repotting. So some people think the opposite. If it's already stressed out, like you might as well just get it done and not stress it out again later, but I just do what works for me. Um, some plants I get and I'm like, no, this needs to be repotted straight away. So I repot it 
straight away but others like this that look good and are healthy um i usually just leave them alone for like a week or two let them acclimate let them chill and then i'll repot them especially hoya so hoya trubiana this one is really weird um and it's really cool and <laughs> i like it a lot these leaves are really long and wacky and i'm into it i think that might be my favorite one so far okay Next are the hanging baskets. Is this a sticker? Oh, that's cute. The plant farm. I like it. Okay, next we have three hanging baskets. And I'm gonna try and get this first one out here. Yeah, it's coming out easy now. Ooh, she's cute. Okay, I gotta take these off though. And this is a Hoya fungi eye. I bought another one. Um, so I already have one and it's from the plant farm and it's growing like crazy and it's really healthy. I got it last year. Um, and I wanted to snag another one because, well, it's one of my favorites and I wanted to have another mother plant of it for you guys because I, I don't want to keep cutting mine. I want mine to grow big and long. <laughs> And uh, that can't happen if I keep taking cuttings. So let's get this plastic off so you can see her in all of her glory. Hoya fungi. Absolutely love this one. The leaves can get really big. They're veiny. They're splashy. It's a super easygoing plant. This one has some active growth on it already. The one I got from them last year had a bloom that like literally as soon as I opened this box, the same exact box, the bloom was like right there in my face and it was fully intact. And I was like, that is insane. So this is a really nice one. We've got two growth points that I'm definitely not mad about. And um, it is looking really nice and healthy and the soil doesn't look bad. So I probably will just leave it. With bigger hanging baskets, I do kind of just like to leave them in there and unless it's absolutely necessary so hoya fungi this one is seed grown so um that's why it says fungi seed on it and it's just gorgeous i love it what's not to love about this one it's stunning and it's gonna go up in the greenhouse since I already have one right literally hanging right here it's just out of frame that is from that's much much bigger I think I got like the I think this is just uh oh no this is a six inch hanging basket I feel like that one's bigger I don't really know why but I love it it's one of my faves so we have fungi eye. and then the next two I'm just really hoping are nice and full trailing plants I got two of the same one and it's one of my favorites it's one of your favorites and I got these for you guys two hanging baskets of Hoya Matilde so that one actually looks more full than this one but I do want to get them both out of here obviously and I do know that these were on sale for $40 each, which is which means I got both of them for $80. I paid $80 just for this plant alone right here last year. Um, so this to me was a really great price. Um, that was a good price at the time for like a full plant. This is an even fuller plant. Um, it doesn't look super splashy like mine is but it's still squashy and it's still really stinking cute and I don't have to cut mine anymore because I don't want to I want her to grow big and beautiful oh man it's gonna be so hard to cut these but I wanted some mother baskets to be able to take lots of cuttings off of because you guys are literally always asking me for this plant so now hopefully I will have plenty of it all the time because this one is super easy to propagate it grows really quickly again i apologize for the noise outside 
It is a holiday weekend. The weather is gorgeous though, so like the window being open. Oh my god, look at this. Look at how full it is. You guys, $40. Tell me if you saw this in the store for $40, you wouldn't crap your pants. Look at it. And that's only one. That's just the one. We we haven't even opened the other one yet. The other one looks more full than this one. Where are the doodads? Or do they just go, is it one of those pots where they just go anywhere? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna figure out which, which way these are gonna be hanging. But seriously, this is like absolutely insane to me that I got this for $40. Um, full price, it's $50, which is still really good. So if you want one, definitely go and snag one. Oh, and it's got peduncles. There's a peduncle right there. I'm definitely not cutting that vine, and if I do, it's to propagate it. Oh my gosh, there's two peduncles on this vine, and it's actively growing. I love Hoya Matilde so much. So much. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, gently put you over there while we open your sister. Am I crazy for buying two? If I had a greenhouse, I would have bought four. <laughs> like a proper greenhouse? Are you kidding me? I'll have a whole freaking wall of Matilde. This is like literally my favorite Hoya when it comes to trailing Hoya. 110%. No questions asked. Like this is the best one. It just is. You can't argue with me about it. Hair-wise, it's super easy. Leaf-wise, it's absolutely adorable. It blooms, it grows, it's got carnosa in it. Oh my gosh, look at how much growth is on this plant. It's actually gonna be a little while before I can cut these because they're so actively growing. Oh my god, little baby peduncles everywhere. <laughs> you guys, I think I'm gonna cry. Don't cry over a Hoya right now, Jackie, just because it's beautiful. I'm trying to untangle all of these without like breaking off anything. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, there's baby freaking peduncles everywhere. I'm not even gonna be able to cut this. That one, I, de I have definitely got a lot of places to cut the other one, but I'm not sure about this one. There's baby peduncles on it everywhere. What? Holy crap, there's one two, three, four peduncles just on this vine alone. Look, one, you can't see it. One, two, there's another baby one growing here. Two, three, can't really see it, four. This is insane. I'm trying so hard to untangle these so that you can like see it so we can both see it like fully trailing but a lot of these are just like wrapped up in each other um it's like trying to untangle a string of hearts which is like the worst okay we got a couple vines loose i can't get over how many peduncles are on this plant crash do not touch that plant don't I will get very mad at you if you eat those leaves, sir. She's such a little leaf nibbler. Okay, let's get you out of there. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. It's like untying a knot. Or like, you know when your jewelry gets all tangled up? You guys, it looks like they've taken cuttings off of this a few times too, and it's just caused them to like branch out. I really should have closed that window before I started this video, but I didn't because this was unexpected. I'm not gonna lie to you I saw the box we went out to like run some errands and I saw the box and it's a good thing we went out or else I probably wouldn't even known it was there um yeah some of these are gonna have to be cut oh my gosh that one's super splashy I'm gonna cut that and propagate it and see if it'll keep going with that super splashiness and it's got a peduncle some of the vines in here are super splashy look at um Oh wow, you guys, this thing is, I can't, these are just all sticking straight up because they're growing. <laughs> That's crazy to me. Bubba, what are you doing? 
he put his face in the roll of paper and then it got stuck and he couldn't figure it was funny you're silly wowie wow 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 wowie wowie wow let me put this on here so i can hold them both up this is crazy and now y'all wonder why i love the plant farm this one is like aesthetically really beautiful and pleasing as like a hanging basket and this one is just like going nuts <laughs> with new growth am i crazy you can tell me if i'm crazy like this is a lot of matilde i gotta put it away before david gets home or he's gonna be like what the heck did you do babe so i got two hanging baskets of hoya matilde one hanging basket of fungi eye. look at how gorgeous these are though <sighs> trying to like take it in two hanging baskets of matilde one hanging basket of hoya fungi eye, which these tendrils are just slapping me everywhere and i'm trying really hard to be gentle so i don't knock off any new growth but we'll definitely be cutting these as soon as the vines are done um, growing and in a week or so I'll definitely inspect the Hoya Matilde and see where I'm able to cut her as well I'll definitely be able to snag a handful of cuttings at least but I'm gonna give them some time to keep growing and really fill out and then I will have so much mother plant I won't even know what to do with it so um, let's just go over these again we got the McGregory and some Hoya Sirens, which is appropriate. The leaves have some hard water stains on them, but I am gonna clean them up and it'll be looking really nice in no time. This one also has a new growth tendril coming out here. Um, I'll definitely be able to cut her back here um, and maybe here I can take a couple nodes for sure and share this one with you guys in, um, the next sale or so like a couple sales from now i usually like to give them some time to acclimate and then you know give the cuttings some time to get going i gotta get some fluval is that another growth point sneaking out of there it is this is the hoya balensis kind of looks like a lot of folia but the leaves are like rounder like more heart shaped almost more like a sarawak but it is not a sarawak um and we do have another growth point coming in right here so i'm excited to see what the new leaves are gonna look like on this one because it does have little leaf new little leaf nubbies so hoya balensis and then this one aside from the matilde and like the fungi because you can't really be in a hanging basket right this trubiana is probably my favorite out of the order because look at how weird it is it's really shiny the leaves are super long and when i saw it i was like i gotta have it it's weird it's weird i think it's really weird but i like it <laughs> i like weird when i say something's weird it is not negative it's positive so um yeah those are all my plants oh and my little lacanosa i might have to message them about this one because i don't think it's gonna make it if i'm being completely honest with you I am gonna take it out of here. Actually, let me just do that really quickly right now. Yeah, there's like not that many roots. They do look like healthy roots though. Um, just wanna make sure the rot isn't going down to the bottom of the plant because we are gonna lose these leaves right here. I think that maybe they just got wet, the leaves. Um, because I don't, I don't see any, like, well, maybe it is rotted down there. Yeah, it looks like it's rotted down here, if you can see it. Um, so I can try and propagate this top piece 
here and it looks like there is another like growth point right here that's okay but this is rotted like right at the base if you can tell like right at the base of where this stem is um it's brown right there and it's floppy because it's rotted so i can definitely try and cut it here but these leaves are so fresh and new and flimsy that i'm not super confident that they're gonna make it uh, maybe i'll just shove them in fluval with one, with one of my other with my other lacunosa that i'm pretty sure is the same as this one um and try and rescue it i think that might be my only option to be honest which is a real bummer because these roots are healthy okay so that's a separate growth point altogether that's rooted and just has the one leaf so I don't really know what's gonna happen with that but this one here it's a real bummer because the roots are actually quite healthy and the rot doesn't go to the base of the plant here it's healthy here it actually only rotted right there So, um, the base of the plant, I'm like, may be okay. I may be able to repot it and try and propagate the top, but either way, it's still kind of a bummer. Um, this is a pretty heavy soil mix for Hoya. Definitely not what I would put it in. It looks like just a regular, it looks like a regular potting mix, honestly. Um, so... I will reach out to them and let them know. Um, we'll see what they want to do. They might want to replace it or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. But it is definitely rotted and that is definitely a bummer. Um, but it looks like it just rotted at like the, the stem, which is odd. Uh, which means it probably happened in packaging um, with something moist like touching it there for too long which is why I like the floof because it kind of like creates a little bit of a moisture barrier but um anyway those are my plants one two three four five six seven seven plants were in this box right one two three four five six seven yes I had to make sure I wasn't leaving anything out this is a huge box <laughs> this thing is massive um and this was a pretty long video so I appreciate you for being here. Like I said, I will leave the plant farm. It's literally just the plantfarm.com, but I'll leave it down below for you guys to click on and go and check it out. They still have really great prices even without the sale. So I do highly recommend if you're looking for like big Hoya baskets, um, that is my go-to for big Hoya baskets. And I think for a good reason because they are lovely. Um, and if you're in Washington, I'm pretty sure you can shop in person. So definitely go and check it out. So if you enjoyed hanging out with me today, you should give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam. Get yourself some perky perks like extra content, early access to sales, stuff like that, hanging with me um, and the other plant fam members. I think we're pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there's lots of different ways that you can support my channel as well. If you don't want to join the members program, you can super thanks me. Everything is appreciated. Obviously, you guys know that I can't do this without you. Um, you can shop any of my affiliate links that I have in my description box. That helps me out as well. I do make a small commission if you shop through those links. I'll also leave the Urban Gardener Leaf Radiance and like all of those products because I will be hitting these with the Super Growth Elixir. Like I usually do the Leaf Radiance first, then the Bug Spray, and then the Super Growth Elixir last. So stay tuned for that. We will be doing a repotting video sometime this coming week um, or next week rather because I want to give these some time but I can show you how I clean them up and all of that and then I'll just tack on when I repot it so that it's like all in one video for you guys so 
stay tuned for that. Otherwise, I'm gonna stop talking. I love you so, so very much. I hope you're having a beautiful day, a beautiful weekend, wherever you are out there in the world. Um, don't forget to spread kindness. You never know what people are going through. Don't forget to drink your water. Stay hydrated, it's very important. And um, I love you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.